favorite comedy of the movie, and Montana's Plan comes from the uh, crunched time frame. I think the, um, the uh, high intensity of, of essentially reliving your entire dating past in 30 days is, um, you know, hijinks ensue, and um, everything happens at a faster clip. And so um, it makes for good drama and, and comedy. Versus if it was going at a more lackadaisical pace, we'd be in a different movie. He's an old-fashioned romantic, actually, Sam, was what I like. He's not vulgar, um, which, you know, I do like vulgarity, but at the same time, and what I think is neat about Sam is he's sort of a throwback, and, um, you know, he does believe in fate and true love and all the, mo the, most high the highest romantic notions you can have. Um, and I like that he's also, you know, one of the girls. We've got girlfriends, you know, and I sort of, that's fun to me to be a part of um, this group of really two girls and myself figuring out how to get her a man. I like being included in the, um, I don't mean this in a derogatory way, I won't say sewing circle, but you know, I do, I do like um, being in on the gossip. She's very warm and likable, um, so, I mean, not that she has to play against that, but we, you know, you've got to buy into the fact that she can't get married. But what she does so well is she's a gifted comedian. And um, she's good at physical comedy and pratfalls, and she's you know, good at being the butt of jokes, and she's a good sport. And I think she kind of um, has a bit of a Lucille Ball quality, I guess, that, that um, is, uh, and she's so game for anything.